mini cannoli, each with different fillings of pastry cream. I was inspired by a bakery that was entirely devoted to cannoli. But I thought instead of making the deep fried shells, that a brandy snap would work just as well. To make the brandy snap batter, I start with two tablespoons of white corn syrup and two tablespoons of fancy molasses. Add these to a pot and bring them up to a simmer. I'll stir in a quarter cup of butter just until it's melted. There we go. Into this, I sift a third of a cup of sugar and half a cup of flour. And then, of course, can't call it a brandy snap without the brandy. Just a splash, about a teaspoon. So I take a couple of teaspoons and I put just a scant teaspoon on the baking tray. You've got to leave lots of room in between these because these expand to about three inches across. These take about 10 minutes in a 300 degree oven, but keep your eye on them. Those last few minutes are critical for that proper browning. Here they are. Look at how they completely transform. So I'll let them cool for a second. Grab my toppings. All right, these have cooled enough to shape. And you just shape them around the little metal molds. So while the sugar is still hot, it's flexible. As these cool, I'll finish up flavoring my pastry creams. I've got that classic vanilla bean, got the caramel one. I have a chocolate one. Take the same pastry cream recipe, and as you're straining it over the butter, add three ounces of melted chocolate. Feel free to get a little inventive with your flavors. The caramel pastry cream is just made a little bit better with a dollop of peanut butter. Just mix it in. And I'll spoon this into my last piping bag here. And once they've set, they pop right out of the mold so easily. Let's start with the peanut butter caramel. And I pipe it from the middle to each end. And then I think this warrants a few toffee bits just on the outside. Let's do classic vanilla with just some simple sprinkles on. This is the classic caramel. And I think that deserves a little sweetened coconut. How about the chocolate? little chopped pistachio on top. So now you can take all these ideas to your own kitchen to bake and enjoy.